To start things off, I added two clips to my timeline that I would like to add a sliding blur transition to. The first thing we need to do is go to the effects pane and type push in the search box. Drag the effect onto your second clip. Select the effect and go up to the effect controls pane. In here, change the alignment to center at cut so that the effect cuts equally into both clips. Alright, this looks okay, but for a blur transition we want it to go a lot faster than this. So grab one of the ends of the effect and drag it to reduce its duration. Next up, we need to add our blur. Since we only want the blur to last for the duration of our transition and not for an entire clip, we want to use an adjustment layer. Go to the Project pane and then right click inside. Hover over New Item and select Adjustment Layer. Then hit OK. Drag your adjustment layer over the transition on the timeline. Then drag its edges so that it only lasts for the duration of the transition. Now let's head over to the Effects pane and type Directional Blur in the search box. Drag the effect onto your adjustment layer. Then position your playhead right in the middle of your adjustment layer. Make sure your adjustment layer is selected and then go up to Effect Controls. Click on the stopwatch button next to Blurred Length to create a keyframe. And then change its value to 50. Then change the direction's value to 90 so that it blurs out that transition line in the middle. Drag the playhead to the beginning of your adjustment layer and set the blur length to 0. We want it to get blurry over time so that it looks smooth. Then drag the playhead to the end of your adjustment layer and once more set the blur length to 0. Alright, and now when I play back my clip we have a smooth looking sliding effect with motion blur. I hope you found this tutorial useful and thanks for watching.